Task number four, managing users in Active Directory. This task is part of the Active Directory Basics module, which is part of the complete beginner path on TryHackMe. Your task as the new domain administrator is to check the existing Active Directory organizational units and users as some recent changes have happened to the business. You have been given the following organizational chart and are expected to make changes to the Active Directory to match it. And we have the management and then we have three departments under this management, marketing, sales and IT. Deleting extra organizational units and users. The first thing you should notice is that there is an additional department organizational unit in your current Active Directory configuration that doesn't appear in the chart. We've been told it was closed due to budget cuts and should be removed from the domain. If you try to right click and delete the, or the organizational unit, you will get the following error. Let's try to delete TryHackMe and see what we see. Delete. Are you sure you want to delete this? Yes. You do not have sufficient privileges to delete, right? We have basically the error that we see over here. By default, organizational units are protected against accidental deletion. To delete the organizational unit, we need to enable the advanced features in the view menu. Right, we see here view and let's see what we have advanced features. This will show you some additional containers and enable you to disable the accidental deletion protection. To do so, right click uh, the organizational unit, go to properties, you will find and check, okay, to disable this protection, right? If we expand this, we can see this is a uh, trihackme is an uh, organizational unit and domain controllers. If we, for instance, right click in here and we say properties and in security, actually in object, we see this, right? And we, we can uncheck this in order to have, in order to have access to deletion. Be sure to uncheck the box and try deleting the, o, the OU again. We say, let's say in here, test. We click OK. If we try to delete, we say yes, we cannot. We right click, we go properties. And let's see in security what we have. Oh yeah, we have the groups. We have the permissions for this OU.com, partitioning, OK, attribute editor. Let's reconnect, why not? Okay, but let's go to object, uncheck this, apply, okay. And now we have the right to delete an organizational unit. Be sure to uncheck, right. You will be prompted to confirm. Yeah, we did that. After deleting the extra OU, you should notice that for some of the departments, the users in the AD don't match the ones in our organizational chart. Create and delete users as needed to match them. Delegation. One of the nice things you can do in AD is to give specific users some control over some OUs. This process is known as delegation and allows you to grant users specific privileges to perform advanced tasks in OUs without needing a domain administrator to, set, to step in. One of the most common use cases for this is granting IT support the privileges to reset other low privilege users passwords. According to our organizational chart, Philip is in charge of the IT support. If we go here to try hack me or you, we go to IT and we see Philip here. Um, we see to delegate control over the uh, organizational unit, you can right click it and then delegate control. Mm, this should open a new window. Yes, sir. We see the window. Okay. Actually, we can see it over here. We go next and we sh are prompted with the same thing that we see on the left side on Try Hack Me. And here we can see object types which are, well, as we know, user groups, built-in security principles, right? We see the location of the machine. 
uh, enter the object names and select okay if we click advanced then again oh yeah we can create queries mm, for automation and stuff like that okay uh, click OK. No, to avoid mistyping the usernames, write Philip and click the check name button. All right, let's see check names. We say Philip and check name. Okay. Let me just go back here for a second. Uh, we don't have an email for him. We don't see an email for him, not even in here. Oh yeah, it's just, we see the default. All right, then in sales, we go, all right, we go add, we go Philip, check names. There you go, auto completion. Yes, we add him to sales. Do we need to check more privileges? Reset user passwords. Perfect. We reset. We let Philip. We let Philip uh, have, uh, let's say, this privilege in the sales department. Click next a couple of times, and now Philip should be able to reset passwords for any user in the sales department. While you'd probably want to repeat these steps to delegate the password reset for the marketing and management departments. We'll leave it here for this task. You are free to continue to configure the rest of our uh, OUs if you desire so. I uh, see we, we have a little connection problem. Anyway, now let's use the account to log in. Yeah, so basically we have to log in via RDP. Uh, this is not working. Then we can use this free, this one. And we have to change this. It's 211.150 for the password is Claire2008, but we log in with Philip, Philip, actually with two L's, and we go like this. Uh, now we connect, okay, specify you want to log in with Philip in the domain. Cool, so we verified the name of the computer. We use the remote desktop protocol to connect with Philip. And now we have to, while we may attempt to go to the directory user computer and try to test new powers, we the he doesn't really have the privilege to open it. Okay, let's see. We have account active, active directory user. <laughs> active directory users and computers as you can see um, he doesn't have the privileges to open it so you'll have to use other methods to do password resets in this case we will be using PowerShell okay cool we'll close this and we have PowerShell here we see this command used since we wouldn't want Sophie to keep on using a password we know, we can also force a password reset at the next logon with the following command. We open Windows PowerShell, set uh, Active Directory account password for Sophie, reset it, new password, the breed host, a secure string, prompt, new password, verbose, perform the operation set on the target Sophie. Okay, let's see what... 
if this will happen when we paste it here. Um, let me see, set and uh, Sophie reset new password. <sighs> Read host. Prompt new password. New password will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Performing operation. Okay, the password does not meet the length complexity in the. All right, we have to. One, two, three, four, five, six, A, B, C, D, E, F. Come on, Harry. Okay. We'll use it as our Philip Clare 2008. Performing the operation set on the target, right? Basically, we see what we, the outcome that we see on try hack me since we wouldn't want sophie to keep on using a password we know we can also force a password reset at the next logon with the following command so basically here with this one we force sophie to have a new password to set a new password on the next logon but with this one we changed a sophie password log into sophie account with your new password and retrieve a flag from sophie's desktop okay basically we have to do this again we go to remote desktop, A, B, A, D, B, 6. We say connect. We say don't ask for this computer. We say yes. For the name is Sophie. The password is Claire2008. We say sign in. Okay. Let's see if we paste this. If we use this command, like so, we should be able to we should be able at next login into Sophie's account to choose the password that we want. AD basics. Let's connect to this computer. Let's say connect. Sophie. And basically for the password, let's just use Claire 2008. Let's see what will happen. Uh, the user password must be changed before signing in. Okay. Okay. The new password will be one, two, three, four. Just for one, two, three, four. I hope it's. Uh, I will not receive a. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Unable to update password. Doesn't meet the the password. Okay, but. I will say Daniel 2008. Daniel 2008, the name of, of my cat. Password has been changed. The number of connections cannot be okay. Cool. We say like this. We close this. From here we go remote, right? We delete. Actually, let me see if we say so we connect. Okay, Sophie and Daniel, 2008. Okay, we should see a flag over here. Thanks for contacting support. Perfect, 
This is our right, the process of granting privileges to a user over some uh, organizational unit or other um, Active Directory object is called delegation. Okay, right. One of the nice things you can do in AD is to give users, specific users, some control over some organizational units. This process is known as delegation. Delegaciones. Cool. Awesome stuff.